Hello guys, it's Washing by Nature and today I have a video for you about how I've managed to overclock my video card. It's an XFX model R9-280X. Uh, first of all, when I first bought the card, I saw on the package uh, that it said unlocked voltage. Uh, that means that you have the ability to uh, to change the voltage of the GPU uh, so you can reach higher speeds but uh, the first couple of days of trials and errors I didn't manage to change the voltage whatsoever but finally I've found a way to actually increase the voltage so I can get higher uh, GPU speeds so first what you need to have is the latest driver for the video card uh, the latest driver for the video card is AMD Catalyst 13.11 beta v6 any previous ones won't work and uh, i didn't have uh, any luck actually increasing the voltage with any previous versions of the of the driver uh, i will post a link in the description of this video to all the softwares that i will mention so we can download them uh, the second thing that you need to have is uh, a software called MSI, MSI Afterburner. Uh, actually, it's a very specific uh, version of the MSI Afterburner. It's a 3.0.0 Beta 15. You won't find this Beta 15 on the official MSI Afterburner site. Uh, I think that you, you may find Beta 14, but it won't work in our case because uh, it doesn't support uh, this video card. Uh, I will also uh, post a link in the description of the of this video. So what you need to set in uh, in this software, couple of settings that you need to be changed. First of all, start with window or start with Windows. That means every single settings that you apply, it will be set on on every Windows uh, start. The second um, important thing is unlock voltage control. This option will allow you to change this slider because when it uh, by default it's uh, unchecked and the slider is grayed out. And the third thing is forced, force constant voltage. Actually this option will set the voltage uh, to be always set to this to this value. Um, I'm working on a way to actually not using this uh, this option because I don't think it's a good idea to actually leave the uh, the GPU uh, set to to a maximum voltage all the time because by on stock uh, when the computer is idle the voltage is decreased uh, to save power. What else? Uh, these are the settings that I've set uh, to, to my video card and are actually stable. I can reach higher speeds, but mm, they are not very stable. Uh, what I've set here is 1.256 volts. Uh, on power limit, you should set plus 10%, uh, and the core clock is 1150. I've managed to reach 1175 but some of the benchmarks i run was not uh, were not very stable um, to, 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 to on memory clock 1650 was the a value that is very stable for me i've managed to reach uh, 17 7 1700 megahertz but uh, i got some artifacts in some of the benchmarks so I've lowered the, this down. Uh, one important thing that you I need to mention is that the quark, uh, the votes that you've set here are actually not the votes that uh, uh, your video card is set on. I don't know why different types of software shows different types of votes. For example, this application, which is called Tech Power Up, shows a voltage of 1.238 even though i've set it to 1.256 but these settings allow me to have a very stable uh, very stable speeds every single benchmark i run and every single game i've played the last couple of hours is rock solid stable so i think it's uh, you can leave these settings for for good 
Um, I think that's about it. Uh, and I wish you have a nice day.